So Microsoft is warning that uh, newer uh, Windows 11 users might be susceptible to data damage, which you don't really hear this word, word a lot, data damage. Uh, basically, what data damage means, uh, it means uh, data loss, you know, but I guess they didn't want to say data loss because that sounds a lot worse than data damage, you know, damage. Oh, can you like recover that? Probably, right? Even though... I, I don't think you could recover the data loss, data damage, whatever you want to call it, if this I issue actually happened to you, because this uh, has to do with one of the features within Windows 11 uh, as far as encryption goes. And if you know encryption, if encryption messes up, your data is pretty much gone. You know, it's really not as simple as something, let's say your hard drive dies for example, or, or maybe your OS like loses the indexed path to a certain file. So now you have to re-index that so you can actually get there. You know, encryption really just, you know, shuffles all the data around. And then, you know, if you can't unencrypt it, it's pretty much gone. So it's a pretty serious issue. And the thing is, well, so this only affects Windows 11 users with the newest supported processors. They're being very vague, you know, so what's that 12 gen uh, Intel? Is is that also the like the 5000 series Ryzen CPUs? I, they're being quite vague, you know. Uh, now there is some more good and bad news. So the good news is uh, these features aren't usually used in consumer applications. So, you know, normal people should be fine. <laughs> However, you know, workstation people you know creative professionals maybe like server owners and stuff business owners stuff like that they might have experienced data loss due to this and you know when you're you know if your business experiences data loss if you don't have redundancy uh your business can literally just disappear you know like you really have to have redundancy and then you know such things like this come out you know it would it would be quite interesting if you had you know a server and then you also had another server somewhere else for backing up and they would both be running windows server because this affects windows 11 and windows server 2022 and then they both like both of their file systems get corrupted and you're just done <laughs> so i mean at that point you you are just going to be switching to linux forever or to mac os i guess uh, so pretty bad news. These are very scary new, you know, this is not funny, like, uh, Microsoft breaking printers and breaking the start button and stuff like that. You know, the data loss really is very serious and it can, it's data loss. It can literally, you know, it can take away, let's say your precious memories, your precious data, or, you know, it can literally take away businesses way to like generate money or what it's very scary so you know uh some some more microsoft doing microsoft things i guess uh hopefully not many were affected and those who were uh hopefully they didn't experience anything too bad